Hi, this is Sherry. I have another uh, mashup journal. It's mainly for writing, and I've included, you know, all kinds of uh, papers and ephemera that I've had from completing other journals. So there's no theme to this one. I used a vintage book cover. I painted it gold, and then I um, added a nice image for the cover and for the back cover. I think the spine is about a one and three fourths wide. All right. And the spine has been reinforced with book cloth, two layers of book cloth. Now here we have a little um, pocket on the inside of the front cover. This is a little flip up. And this is wallpaper. Tammy made that. It's nice, delicate paper flower. This is a um, bag, but it's also an altered paper clip. There's quite a few tuck spots in here. I didn't fill them all because it would get too chunky. That's her little bag. Some tea dyed music paper. There's a nice little sticker on some dyed paper. There's a nice little um, cluster. Either this could be either from Joanne or from Tammy. I don't remember. Here's some uh, vintage Japanese paper. It's really thin. It's got the job. It's, you know, authentic. This is not a digital. Here's some blue dyed paper. Some antique ledger paper. Bird image. I like it. It's colorful. Another little sticker pocket, the other side of that Japanese writing paper. Even though um, there's no set theme, there's a lot of florals in here. And I just, you know, try to make it pretty. I don't want to put anything in a journal that, that I don't think is pretty. I love that image in that artwork. This is a pocket on the right side. Guest check that Tammy made. And I made a little paper flip up here. So another little pocket with dimension to it. Stenciling. This is an image from um, Lindsay at Maybe also in the public domain, I'm not sure. But I attached that to um, a piece of wallpaper for sturdiness. Here's a glassine bag that I decorated with a beach house card in it. It could be a journal card or a bookmark. Some avocado dyed paper. This is from one of my many books. A little tuck spot here. Start the art. What are we waiting for? I love this image also. This is from one of my books. I think that's, I don't know what that is, an olive? No, I don't know. There's a little paper flip up. More journal in space. Butterfly sticker. This is from one of my books on floral art. I just folded it up here. Writing space. Just a little uh, faux postage stamp. It's a teapot. There's a pocket. So 
some more note note paper. This is a little flip up. It's acetate, an image printed on acetate. She's going to ride a butterfly, I guess. Some um, vintage crocheted. This is an, another one uh, where I used a wallpaper. It's nice and sturdy. Tuck spot, there's nothing in it. There's a tuck spot. Little flip out. House mouse image. Antique pa papery. from one of my uh, tree books. The uh, wallpaper that's embossed with some little writing paper in there. Squirrel image. There's some pretty paper. It's, you can't see it probably, but it's got a golden sheen to it. Again, from one of my books. Yes, check. Yes, Tammy. Here's the side pocket. This is just a flip up with some paper. This is from an um, uh, antique book that I have. Here's another little flip out. House mouse pocket, another tuck spot. Side uh, pocket. There's another flip up, paper flip up. It's a beautiful pocket here. Here's a pocket, some more avocado dyed paper, here's some ledger paper, a little file folder here, another paper fold out. Mmm, raspberries, can't wait, I love raspberries. Here's another paper flip out. This is crooked. I don't know why or how it got so crooked. <laughs> I don't think I was drunk. I don't really drink. Anyway, it's still cute. Another pocket with a tag from my seashell book. might be from uh, Lonnie on Etsy. I think that's one of her digitals. And these are from a book. This page is from a book that I have. Here's another flip up. Little, little envelopes with things stuck in them. Again, I think that's from Tammy. She does so many unique items. This is a stenciling of some birds that I did. Another piece of that Japanese paper. I just love the feel of it. Cabinet card. As I said, there's quite a bit of space in here for journaling. Just breathe. Here's another little tuck spot. And this is a napkin that I decoupaged over a tag. This may be what real rice paper is. It's very delicate. Even the rip is antique, the tear. And 
This is a flip out and an old postcard. I think it's old. And this is the end of the book. All right, I hope you liked it. It was a lot of fun to, to make. That's why I do it for, for joy and to help keep me sane and inspired. Thank you.